Inside Ole Arena with men's basketball head coach Josh Andrews to look back at the 21-22 season for he and the Trojans. You guys started out with a lot of close losses to begin the year, and then that was kind of how the year ended with a lot of close games and just a couple minutes here or there that put you on the wrong side of the scoreboard. What did you think about the season overall? Yeah, we'd like to have started better. Uh, that was, uh, wasn't as planned, but our guys had fought. We were so close early. thought that took a little bit of a toll on us there in that early part of the year. Began to win some games and, and learn how to play together. And uh, as you mentioned, towards the end, had a, had a similar finish, uh, not for lack of effort, and our team had grown so much. And I sure like to think that those experiences are going to uh, propel this group into real success going forward. You mentioned the growth, a lot of growth happening with your underclassmen. Three sophomores saw heavy minutes. They played a lot last year as freshmen. And then your two freshman point guards had to come in and run the show right when they step on campus. What do you think about their group as a or maturity as a group throughout the whole season? Yeah, it's a, it's a demanding task for all those guys. It's a veteran league, uh, such a demanding schedule and physical, uh, mature group at the front of this league. So for those guys to be in the mix like that is just, uh, I think, critical for our success. And I thought they bought into that. And I thought they were tough about it. Uh, grew throughout the year. Our guys were coachable. And uh, we, we took on a lot of improvement from start to finish. So if we can use that, uh, take inventory, have a, a humble approach to getting better this spring and summer, uh, again, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to move this group forward in a positive light. Well, obviously the headline of this year was Jason Upper. We could be here all day listing all of his accolades. Second straight year, first team all-league selection, led the league in scoring, most points for a Trojan in over four decades. He was a three-time straight now all-defensive team selection, third in the league in rebounding. He was a player of the year candidate, an All-American candidate. Uh, what was it like to have a front row seat to all of his mastery this season? Yeah, we're proud of Jason, and he has continued to get better. So what's fun as a coach is when you – uh, recruit a guy, you see what you think he could be, and then you see him begin to move into that. And, and so much of that is Jason, who he is, how he's worked at it, and he just had a fantastic season. It, it really obviously could fill up a stat sheet and uh, is a highlight reel at times. And, and he knows that he's got so many areas he can still grow. Um, his leadership took off this year. Uh, his care level for the guys, his ability to inspire the group, and we just fell a little bit short. You know, if if the outsiders could see that growth that came through him and the other guys on the year, it's such a group to, uh, to be proud of. So, Jason, um, he, he has he has put in the time and put in the effort, and we're thrilled that he's coming back for one more, and uh, we'll follow his lead as well as several other guys. But Jason will be out front, and we need him to produce. Yeah, it's got to be pretty good knowing he's coming back for one more year, right? Yeah, and he, you know, the, the thing is with this season, too, is uh, how teams defended him and how we were built as a team. It was still a new year with personnel, so it took us some time. You know, he had missed a, uh, almost the entire month of October. It took our group some time uh, to, to come together, and even when we had come together, it didn't produce the outcomes with consistency that we wanted, but the spirit was there and the determination and the mindset. It's really close to where we want it to be, and Jason leads a lot of that, so we're very proud of, of what he's accomplished. He's the first back-to-back first-team All-League selection you've had in your tenure here. Another All-League selection was your other double-figure scorer throughout the year in Caden Furman, second-team All-Nod, uh, All-League for the sophomore, put 39 on Huntington back in the first semester, finishes the top three-point shooter in the league when it comes to three-pointers made per game. What was it like to see him take that leap from freshman to sophomore year? Yeah, he had to, uh, so we were excited about that, and we knew coming into this year Caden had to take on a big role, and a role that we hadn't really seen him play in recruiting, and certainly as a freshman year, he played in part, you know, had some big games, but uh, his maturity uh, was something to see. We were, um, we were again, excited about uh, the level of play that he was able to take his game. And he's such a talented young man, such a great athlete. And uh, as he continues to mature and develop and, and recognize this, you know, he's, he's going to be guarded like that the next couple of years. So there's a whole nother layer that he can get to a whole nother level and, and he's going to put in the work. Uh, terrific teammate, uh, great uh, leader and worker. And uh, the best is uh, yet to come for Caden Furman. With Jason coming back, that means your senior class this year was four young men. Aaron Hahn had his best season of his collegiate career after having to sit out a couple of years due to transferring. Also, Luke Hufford, Javel Redwood, Bailey Hester, those three guys have had to battle a lot of injuries throughout their time. What's been the senior class's impact on the Taylor men's basketball program? You know, and in talking with those guys, hearing our guys talk about them, it, with each with a unique uh, scenario in, in a sense, testimony to, to where they are now, where they came from, uh, how those guys handled that, the level of maturity, uh, the perspective that they have now, 
the way that they were able to influence, uh, even from a character standpoint, so many of the guys in our program. And with saying that, there were numerous contributions throughout the year where those guys uh, played big parts, you know, in, in the development of this team and this program. So we will miss them greatly, and they help pave the way to future success. And they're going to be, they'll be a big part of when we're celebrating in the going forward. Those guys played a major role. Josh, thanks for the time. Enjoy some time off here in the offseason, and we'll talk to you before next season gets here. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rick. That's Josh Andrews, the Taylor Men's Basketball Head Coach, joining me today. For more up-to-date information on Taylor Men's Basketball, just log on to taylortrojans.com.